G'day guys, welcome back to Nugget and Owl's little reconnoiter of The Walking Dead. This week, episode two, The Well. Straight away, Albie, what I liked was the fact that no characters that we love got their heads bashed in. No. That was a nice change from last week's episode. Well, it was nice. It was all very calm, wasn't it? Compared to the, the absolute psychological torment of last week, it was like a little holiday. We met a new commune, uh, as King Ezekiel, and he's so cool, he's got a pet tiger. That's unreal, I reckon. So Carol wakes up. We wonder what was happening to Carol and Morgan from the end of last season. Carol wakes up in the kingdom. Morgan wheels her in to meet King Ezekiel. I love the fact in that scene, Carol was kind of caught between going, I should be cautious, the dude has a tiger. <laughs> um, and maybe just going, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, she worked it out pretty quick. She's not convinced at all, is not she? Not at all. We find out on the episode that the gang from the kingdom are working for the saviours. Everyone's working for the saviours. The hilltop are. We now know that, of course, the Alexandrians are. Rick and his crew. The kingdom are. But we find out they're selling them pigs that have been fatted up on walker meat. Yeah. I didn't like this because one thing... I don't care what's happened in the apocalypse. Do not use bacon as a weapon. No. It's Listen, not fair. Make sure you KR Darling Downs, you do not follow <laughs> suit. Don't use walker meat. It's bad <laughs> news. So they're working for the saviours. And you just yep. feel like maybe something's bubbling away there. There was a little bit of a fisty cuffs. But I reckon even the gang at the kingdom are kind of going, oh, we're Jack and Negan and these blokes. Yeah. So then Carol, she's decided, I'm out of here. I'm not really a community type girl. And she makes the decision to leave, gets busted by King Ezekiel. And he basically comes clean and goes, look, I'm not really a king. Uh, I'm just a guy who likes community theatre and has a tiger for a pet. <laughs> yeah. And they have like a little heart to heart. He convinces her not to so much stay in the kingdom, in like a little bungalow, mm. still within the confines of the kingdom. In fact, the only real thing about Ezekiel is his name. Yeah, Ezekiel. that's basically it. The rest of it's all bunged on. And then the ending was really weird because she's settling into her new little house on the prairie, as it were, mm. knock on the door, and there is King Ezekiel with a pomegranate and his tiger. Yeah. And my nan always had a saying, never accept a pomegranate from a man with a tiger. She started to lose her mind towards the end, though, nan. <laughs> so is that a weird little romantic thing maybe yeah, coming there? Yeah, it was. But at least the, the whole episode was a, a lot more relaxing than oh, last week. Bad news for next week, though. Episode 3 called The Cell. We find out what's happening to Daryl. With Negan's oh, mob. Oh, no, he's it's back. It's going to be tough. So maybe just rewatch episode two and think of the good times. See you next week.